day, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's OK, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. OK. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Peppa. What? <laughs> Got you! Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes, <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy. But do it right. Oh. <gasps> All the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry. I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes. <gasps> All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So. This is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeak! <laughs> 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 I think it's working. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> OK, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now... It's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute.
shoot. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, boat bobs, bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobby. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin, and I spin all day. explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Peppa. 
And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Peppa. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Whoa! Wow, look at him go! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> ah, nearly there, George. <laughs> 
It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, oh. I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't... No, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course. But maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue! They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad! Not again! Sorry! Rescue by a helicopter! Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> 
That was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! Oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad. You're not stuck up a mountain again. Not me. It's Mummy Pig! She's on Mount Everest! What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one! I'll be right there! <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig! Mummy Pig is rescued! Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. Why the <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, but Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> round and huh. round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mommy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Hello, Molly. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. <laughs> Hello again, Pepper. Hello again, Daddy. 
<laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song. Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to disco <laughs> town. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 hello. hello. What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Ah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, 
appears a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. <coughs> Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes! Exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! <laughs> Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. <laughs> And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? Okay, but don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. 
Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies! Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Pepper, George and Freddy Fox are sailing on the river with Grandpa Pig. Right! Who wants to play pirates? Me! 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 Pepper, raise the pirate flag. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Now we can pretend to be pirates. Aha! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel in their police boat. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Uh, hello. We couldn't help noticing that you seem to be a pirate ship. You've got a pirate flag. And you've got pirate hats on. It's our job to keep the water safe from fearsome pirates. Oh, it's just a game. We are pretending to be pirates. Ah, just pretend. That's OK, then. Just playing at being pirates, so no problem. Anyway, we can't stand around chatting. We've got lots of important work to do in our police boat. Can we help you with your police work? Oh, it's serious work. And you are little children. So I think the answer has to be no. Please! Oh, all right then. Hop aboard. <laughs> Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 While I wait... I suppose I could have a read of my newspaper. <laughs> this is exciting! Calling police boat. It's the police station. Emergency! Emergency! A boat is sinking. We are on our way. It is Grumpy Rabbit. His boat is sinking. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper. Good to see you. What seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I built this lovely boat myself from all bits and bobs of junk, but for some reason, it won't float. A boat that doesn't float? It's lucky we were called. A boat that does not float on water. So, unless there's anything else you want to report, we'll be on our way. Uh, would it be OK if you rescued me? Of course! Grab hold of this life ring. The police boat has rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Hooray! Bye-bye, Grumpy Rabbit! Bye! This is really fun! <laughs> Calling police boat. Another emergency! Pirate ship on the river. Repeat. Pirate ship on the river. We're on our way. Oh, looks like we've found a real pirate. Aha, me heart is. Sorry to trouble you, but we just need to check if you're a pirate. We thought we'd caught some pirates earlier, but it turned out they were just playing. That was us. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, uh, I am playing too. Wow! Amazing costume! And your ship looks like the real thing. Yes, I've made a bit of an effort, as it's, uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day. What's that? Well, it's all for a good cause. You just have to talk like a pirate. <laughs> Pieces of eight! Shiver me timbers! Jim lad! Wow, you're good! Just playing at being a pirate or talk like a pirate day. Calling police boat. Traffic jam on the river. Repeat, traffic jam on the river. We are on our way! Bye! Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and his boat is making a traffic jam. Wake up, Grandpa! 
Huh? Uh, what? Oh, Peppa! You're back. You just need to move your boat so the traffic can pass. Of course. Sorry. Hooray! The children have been a big help on the police boat today. <laughs> Peppa loves the police boat. Everybody loves the police boat. Hollywood. Peppa and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star. George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera. Action. Attention. The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots. Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day, too! Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day! Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe! If only there was some way of getting rid of them! We can't eat the carrots! But there are too many! Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye. Bye! Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Pepper has had a wonderful time in America. The clubhouse. <laughs>
Peppa and her friends are at the playground today. I'm the cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Bull. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <gasps> Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. <laughs> Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. Pepper <laughs> loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Bull! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When's her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday. 
birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale! Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves undersea parties. <laughs> Everybody loves undersea parties. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. 
Hiya, Mummy! Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Nay. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Go, oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Bobby. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig and this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary, but if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. Great big crawly safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Then let's go. <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. 
The children are very excited about the safari. Great! Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah! We have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> Oh, how charming! Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Weather station. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup today. <laughs> Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather: sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. <laughs> I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear? I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Go! Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Go! Snow is such fun. I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Peppa? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and down in. <laughs> yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK! The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh! 
And this thermometer has colored liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow! So, how hot does this thermo thingy say it is? It says today is, um, nice and warm. It's getting windy, really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh! So, how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! It started to rain! We're getting wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now we can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I move the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. <laughs> the rain has stopped. Look! We can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh, what's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable! I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <coughs> can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. Daddy, Pepper, and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes! I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. 
Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Mmm, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, how wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? <sighs> poo poo! Mummy! <laughs> George has done poo poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George! <laughs> Quick, George! Hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? <laughs>
Yes! <laughs> he went that way! Come back, you cheeky piggy! <laughs> I'm coming to get you! <laughs> wee wee! Mummy! Daddy! George wants his potty! Come on, George! Let's get you to your potty! George is on his potty. <laughs> Well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> potty. potty. <laughs> <laughs> Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me! <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. The lucky hamper. Pepper and her friends are at playground. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct. And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We filled the hamper with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. I like bananas. Wonderful. It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, Madame Gazelle. We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket. And if they are lucky, they win the hamper. Wow! It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, Daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? It's for our playgroup Lucky Hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy. It has to be Troppy Poppy Curl. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots, and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. Here is the trunk, and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the same. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo-ho-ho. Ho. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. 
The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <coughs> Hello. Oh, no. The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow. Nice. It looks amazing. And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness! I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Oh, that's me! Madame Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves lucky hampers. <laughs> Everyone loves lucky hampers. <laughs> Health check. Today, Pepper is going to the doctors for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Pepper. It helps the doctors see how you are growing up. Ooh! Pepper has arrived at the doctors. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr. Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr. Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? <coughs> I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Pepper. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Pepper is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Peppa's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Wonderful. <laughs> do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. OK. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Peppa. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have 
some questions? OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. Everyone loves having a health check. Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on, this is my ladder. Yes, lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye! Bye! See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad. Hello, a grampy rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! 
I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad! Just doing my job! Miss Rabbit and Grumpy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. The apple tree. It is summer. Pepper and George have come to the apple tree to play. My go! The apple tree has a little swing on it. <laughs> Pepper loves the swing. Swing, swing! <laughs> George wants to have a go. I will push you, George. <laughs> Yes. In fact, it looks like there are lots of little apples. Can we eat one? Oh, the apples look a bit small. Maybe they're not ready yet. Please, can we try? Hmm. I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see if one falls down. Oof! An apple has fallen on Daddy Pig. Ho, ho! Here's your apple. Thank you. Ugh, it's not very apple-y. It's a bit early for apples, Pepper. They'll taste better in the autumn. We'll come and visit the apple tree again then. Oh, goody. Apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. I can swing all day long as I sing my little song. <laughs> it is autumn. The leaves on the apple tree have turned red. Pepper and George have come to play. Swing, swing! <laughs> I will push you, George. <laughs> wow! The apples are really big now. Yes, I think they might be ready to eat. I'll just give the tree a little shake. <laughs> Lots of leaves have fallen on Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No apples fell down. Shake it again, Daddy. <laughs> OK. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Lots of apples have fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, I had a feeling that might happen. Yummy! <coughs> These are the best apples in the world. Mm, yes, they're definitely ready now. Mm, yum, yum. Delicious. Thank you, apple tree. <laughs> <laughs> apple tree, apple tree. You are friends with George and me. All your leaves have turned red. Apples fall on Daddy's head. <laughs> it is winter. The apple tree is covered in snow. Pepper and George have come to play. Hello, tree. Have you got any apples for me? Oh, there are no apples in the winter time, Pepper. Maybe there is one left? Well, I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see what falls down. All the snow has fallen on Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I really should know better than to shake that tree. Look, there aren't any leaves or apples. Don't worry, Pepper. The leaves will come back in the spring. Can we come back again? Of course, Pepper. Oh, goody. <laughs> Apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. With no apples and no leaves, you are still a happy tree. <laughs> it is springtime. There are little flowers on the apple tree. <laughs> wow! Look at all the flowers on the tree. Yes, that's called blossom. It's beautiful. I love this time of year. And it smells so lovely. <coughs> Are there any apples in the tree today? Not today, Peppa. Um, can you shake it just a little bit, Daddy? OK. Lots of blossom has fallen on Daddy Pig. <laughs> well, I have to say, that's a lot nicer than apples or leaves or snow falling on me. <laughs> this is so pretty. <coughs> I love the apple tree. Me too. I think it's the best tree ever. <laughs> Pepper, Mummy, Daddy and George love the apple tree. Everyone loves the apple tree. <laughs> Monkey has a cough. It is a lovely sunny day at Pepper's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. 
fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh, dear. Please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye, it is a wink and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes. It was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And monkey has a cough. <coughs> Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Daddy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> shiver me timbers. Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, jump up and down, and quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Oh, oh, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. <laughs> Canyon Country. Pepper and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. Stop! Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No, this is the desert. Oh. Has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah, 
If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George, this was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and Are miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. <whistles> There's an eagle! <whistles> wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! Oh, it's like a fairground ride! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best fun ever! Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Wow! Just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh! And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Oh, well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Sea treasure! Pepper and George are camping at the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. I love camping in your tent. Oh, we love it too. Over the years, we've camped in the mountains, in the jungle, We've even camped on an iceberg. Ooh. We can camp anywhere with all the comforts of home. <coughs> and just like at home, the naughty birds try to eat my raspberries. <coughs> <coughs> you naughty seagulls. Shoo! Shoo! Can we go to the sea now? Yes, let's go and have fun. I'll stay here and guard my raspberries. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to play by the seashore. Watch out for the wave, George. Here it comes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, look what George has found. 
It's, it's some old rope. It's sea treasure. <laughs> Another wave, George. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Look, shells. More sea treasure. Hooray! <laughs> Watch out for the wave! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor Granny, you've got your feet wet. <laughs> yes. Oh, plastic bottles. They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Pepper. Ooh. What does it say, Granny? It says, Hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a Big Reggie Rabbit. That's me. Oh. So where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me. A, a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grampy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh! We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore, do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grampy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Yes. Thank you, Grampy Rabbit. Bye-bye. Ah, ah. The cheeky seagulls are eating Grandpa's raspberries. <gasps> Shoo! Shoo! Grandpa, Grandpa, look what we found on the beach. <laughs> it's sea treasure. So it is. Well done. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, if only I had something to scare these birds away. Let's make something with the sea treasure. What a good idea, Granny Pig. We can use this rope to string all these bits and bobs together. Granny Pig has made a thing to keep the birds away. Hooray! And now it's home time. Helmets and goggles, children. Yes, Granny! <laughs> All aboard and off we go! Bye-bye, Seaside! <laughs> Grandma's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. brum. Grandpa's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's diary. Peppa is drawing a picture. <laughs> Look, I've drawn me and George. <laughs> That's lovely, Peppa. When I was a little piggy, I used to do drawings in my diary. What's a diary? It's a storybook you make about the things you do each day. This is my old diary. Ooh. This day, I got up and I played in the garden. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Next day... You got up, played in the garden. No. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Then the circus came to town. Here is the big tent with acrobats flying about. Wow! I want to keep a diary. Good idea, Peppa. You can start your very own diary. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'm going to draw in my diary every day. It is the next morning. Peppa is asleep. <laughs> morning time! I got up. <laughs> I played in the garden. Then what happened? <laughs> oh, yes. George's dinosaurs are good. But that is not interesting enough for my diary. 
Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig are getting lunch ready. Mummy, I've run out of things to put in my diary. Oh, why don't you tidy your room? But it needs to be something exciting. You went to the circus. Hmm, I've got an idea. Daddy Pig, please fetch the toy basket. Right you are, Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up, roll up. See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a mummy pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Hoopla! Hooray! Now it's Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? Ta-da! Here's my old unicycle. I used to ride it a lot before I met Mummy Pig. Whoa. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Ah! Where are the brakes? Ah! <laughs> Ta-da! Hooray! That was the best circus ever. Now I've got lots to put in my diary. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. <clears throat> Today I got up, I played in the garden, then the circus came to town. Ta-da! What a busy day. Yes. And tomorrow I will do lots more things and draw them in my diary. Peppa loves keeping a diary. <laughs> Everyone loves keeping a diary. The lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Peppa to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course. Hop aboard. <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes. All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <coughs> then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm. I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. 
This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello? Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good. They've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry. Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grumpy Rabbit is out at sea all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboats. Aye, aye, Captain Dog. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Wait, I said I would never sail again. But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing. You're right. Danny, pull the lever. This is brilliant. The lifeboat goes very fast. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Detective Club. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. Let's play detectives. This is our detective club and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh. Play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh, and I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is... Where have I put my phone? It's in the car! Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit, can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic! 
Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help. We've got ourselves a job. To the police car. Did someone shout for help? Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood, earthquake, tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse.